Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. And I feel like I say that in every video. And honestly, this time of year, just a crazy time. I just recovered from being sick for like a week. And it's been crazy. My cat, I actually had to take to the vet. He's still currently there couple thousand dollars there. He has a blocked bladder. So it's been a lot of stuff going on in my life. I'm getting ready to go to New York City for a week. So I just have a lot going on. But I have been burning a ton of candles and you will start to see a lot of Halloween in here from Kringle. I currently only own Halloween candles from Kringle, mainly that I've got sent in PR that I purchased a few years ago that I'm really trying to work through. I have not burned any of the new Kringle candles, the six of those like vintage prints from this year that launched, but I have been working through a lot of my older from 2022 and 2023 Halloween candles, trying to make a big dent in them. And I have a lot of beauty stuff. I have a good bit of Scentsy, not a ton. Honestly, I don't reach for my warmers as much. I'm really trying to burn through a lot of candles. And honestly, it feels really good. So let's sit down, grab something to drink. I have my water right here, which I'm using the Brewmates lately. I know everybody's obsessed with Stanley's, but the Brewmate Era, this is the Brewmate Era 40 ounce. It is a life changer. It is my absolute favorite drink holder. So you just take a sip. And unlike a Stanley on the top here, if you put it in the locked position, it actually doesn't drip any water. It's incredible. And it keeps your water cold all day. I got a nugget ice maker from QVC that's in my kitchen and I use some nugget ice with my water and it is the best. Keeping me hydrated, especially as I'm recovering from being sick, it just feels really good to constantly have water with you. We don't need to talk anymore about water bottles. You guys know the water bottle craze. Crazy, right? All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. I mainly burned through Kringle candles this month. I just have a few that aren't from Kringle, so we'll actually start with that. I have a few from Candles by Victoria. The first one I finished is ooh, Crisp Fall Day. Now, this is a blend of sweater weather and apples and oaks from her. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it burned all the way down. That's just like some wick that fell in there towards the end, but burned all the way down, super clean. The smudge is just uh, from the wax. Oh. I love this scent. I got it in room spray. I got it in a big candle. I love it in everything. I'm not the hugest fan of sweater weather. It's the Bath and Body Works dupe. But blended with the apples and oaks, which is a Candles by Victoria fragrance, it just really creates this crisp, cool apple fragrance. And I think the name Crisp, crisp Fall Day totally fits the vibe. It is. It's like your windows are open, which... Mine are now, so you might hear some traffic in the background, like that right there. Um, but yeah, it smells like the crispness of a fall day, the apple trees, the wind, the outdoorsiness. It is beautiful. And her candles, as always, are super strong. So I finished that one. Oh, And then the other one I finished is Nutty Peach Crumble which is, oh, this is like a peachy, like a peach pie, almost like a really delicious peach pie filling. Again, burn all the way down to the wet clips. Got a little sooty towards the end because I just let it burn until it extinguished itself. But, oh, I also just received this one in a big candle. If you like peach pie, if you like peach cake, this smells like the most delicious vanilla cake with peach pie filling on top, and then the crumble. Like you get on like a streusel or on like a really delicious decadent muffin. This is that in a candle. It smells just like a rich peach crumble. Oh, heaven. I absolutely love this scent. We'll constantly repurchase it. Super strong. Perfect for, I think, the fall time. 
And then she offered for a limited time these ceramic pumpkin candles. So they're like a ceramic pumpkin baker. They are triple wicked. And as you see, I burned this guy all the way down to the bottom. And I got this one, it's kind of hard to read, in frosted cinnamon roll, which I've had before in a regular candle and a scent shot. Melted through that, burned through that. It's amazing. Oh, it is like the most rich, creamy vanilla slash cream cheese frosting on top of a cinnamon bun. And when you burn this, your whole house smells like that decadent, rich cinnamon bun. So good. 10 out of 10. I love this fragrance. If you like a cinnamon roll with extra gooey cream cheese frosting, you have got to check out her frosted cinnamon roll. Victoria does her gourmand bakery scents better than anyone. I absolutely love it. All right, now let's move on to the Kringle candles. I have two, four, six, eight, ten Kringle candles. Well, technically nine and one country candle. I'm going to be honest, this guy, almond butter cookie, Oh, yep. Now, this from Kringle, I know Katie over at Katie's Joyful Life has also talked about this. With some of Kringle's bakery fragrances, like the nutty ones, the cookie type scents, when you start to burn them, they de develop this burnt smell. And this one, I mean, maybe after like, no joke, like a quarter into the burn, it just smelled burnt. Even in the jar now, it just smells burnt. I'm not really sure why. The notes are almond, sweet, vanilla, pumpkin, maple, and amaretto. This was the almond butter cookie. Like I said, I love the fragrance, but when you started to burn it, it just smelled burnt. So I actually, the weather was starting to get nicer here during this time. So I opened my office windows. I have four windows in my office. I just opened two and I burned this one with the windows open and tried to just let the scent burn out because it did burn kind of sooty, but it wasn't too, too bad. I feel like that has been corrected on the country candles. But yeah, for some reason, that bakery note in here, it just turned my stomach. It was that burnt bakery note that some Kringle Bakery fragrances have. I don't understand what it is or what it is to my nose, but yeah, if you burn this one, let me know what you think and let me know if I'm the only one that's smelling it. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Now, speaking of cookie bakery fragrances, apple cider donut. Now this, no problem at all. This is the two wick. This is the two wick apple cider donut. Spoiler, there's something exciting coming from Kringle. An apple cider donut might be coming home to me in a new format. That's all I'm going to say. I love apple cider donut. This is hands down. If anybody said, Drew, I want a great Kringle fragrance. Okay. Do you like fresh? I have recommendations. If you like bakery fragrances, apple cider donut, I will recommend 10 out of 10 any day of the year, spring, summer, winter, fall. Even though apple cider donuts are typically a fall fragrance, this it's the nail on the head. This smells like you go to your local farm. Everybody's local farm has their best apple cider. Buy the best apple cider and make homemade delicious cakey donuts with cinnamon sugar on top. Hands down the best Kringle candle ever. I love, well, hold, hold the phone. That's not a reserve candle because you know my love for jelly donut. Yes. This is my favorite in the Kringle, like, signature line. Apple cider donut is incredible. I burned this the entire time in my bedroom because I just wanted to savor every drop of this fragrance. The Two Wick is, a, like, a light to medium throw. It's not super, super strong. If it was in Four Wicks, which would be exciting, I think the Four Wick apple cider donut candle would blow me out of the house. I'd love to see that. All right. Next, I finished Autumn Road, which was part of the fall collection, I believe, last year, right? Yo, know, two years ago. This is a 2022 pour. Like I said, I've been working on a lot of my older candles. This is very cologne -y. Very, very masculine. It almost gives me, like, Old Spice for Men aftershave. I burned this one in my living room. I actually burned this one. What did I burn this one with? 
I can't remember which one I burned this one with, but it gave, like I said, it gave very like masculine aftershave vibes very deep and dark, like something like your grandfather would use as an aftershave. It's nice, it's strong, not a favorite though. This is a new one for this year, Salted Maple Pumpkin. You guys, this is phenomenal. Spice, maple, butter, sweet, vanilla, and cinnamon. Oh, I love this. This is like a quintessential fall pumpkin bakery scent. It smells just like the picture, the richest, most decadent pumpkin pie with a drizzle of maple. And I'm not one who loves maple fragrances or eating maple. Sometimes it can be overly sweet and that just bitiness of the maple that I don't love. But this was definitely a mellow down maple, a very rich, deep pumpkin bakery. I... Yeah, loved this. Love, love, love. It was super fall in my house. Next, I finished Pumpkin Buns from the Reserve line. Now, this was also really good. Really different and not what I expected. Burned down all the way. And this one is like a savory pumpkin. It almost gives like a pumpkin bread or a pumpkin pretzel. Because if you look really closely at the label here, it sort of looks like it's a bread or a bagel made into the shape of a pumpkin. And this is sort of the vibe it gives me. It gives me more of like a savory, rich, almost like, dare I say, like a roasted nut butter on a pumpkin bread, something like that. It gives you really warm, really savory, really rich and decadent versus like sweet. Because like if I saw the name pumpkin buns with no description and not expecting anything, I would expect it to be like a sweet, like a cinnamon bun sort of fragrance where this is nothing like a cinnamon bun. It is a rich, savory, almost like a pumpkin bread, but don't think sweet. Think more savory pumpkin bread. I did really enjoy it, though. It was a really good fragrance. Next was candy corn. I'll be honest, this was not a really strong one for me. This was a 2022 pour, so that might be part of it. But yeah, it just smells like a very light, like a vanilla buttercream. I find that candy corn fragrances from most places I can't really smell. I think it was super fun. I love the label with my Halloween display. Looked super cute, but it wasn't super strong. It was a good background fragrance. I definitely burned that with other things, and I feel like it just added a sweetness to it, but it wasn't anything to write home about, like super unique. This guy, oh, I loved. It's evil. I don't love the label, but I love the fragrance. This is like, popping that off. Oh, this is like a cinnamon sugar pastry. Sort of like a churro, sort of like an elephant ear. It gives those vibes. Really, really great and a really strong one. I burned this in my dining room and it filled up my kitchen, my dining room, my living room space. Really nice. Now, it wasn't like I opened the door and I was like knocked in the face, but I could smell it in every room I was in. I knew I had the It's Evil candle burning and it was so great. This is another one I think would be a great blender. It is still available on the website too, I believe. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, just have to put that out there. If you use my code DrewYawk15, it'll save you 15%. I appreciate you for all the love and support as always, especially when I've been down and out for the last month. But yeah, love the It's Evil Candle. Again, like a cinnamon, sugary, rich, decadent, bakery, pastry type of fragrance. Next is Red Maple. Now, boy, do I have a, like, a love-hate relationship with this candle. When I first smell it, it does give, like, Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes in the stars from Bath & Body Works, like, all those sorts of things. But when you burn it, it gives a slight body odor fragrance. And I know, obviously, that doesn't sound appealing talking about a candle, and even though I'm, I'm an ambassador, I let you know if I don't like a candle. I mean, it's just being honest, right? But this guy almost, it gave that perfuminess. It gave those like aldehydes, that like skin type of fragrance. And when you burn it, that body odor scent goes away. And I don't know if it was mentally because I knew that I smelled it a couple times in the fragrance that I noticed it more when I was burning it. But... 
I just don't know. It's not a repurchase. I did finish it. Um, I know some people weren't able to because it did smell really funky to them. But if you liked, like, Ariana Grande Cloud, if you like any of those type of fragrances, give it a try. I think you'll be surprised by it. Um, if you don't like perfumey fragrances or anything like that, skip it. But it was definitely a different type of fragrance. I don't know if I would... I know I wouldn't repurchase it, but everybody feels differently, right? Oh, Listen, sinister. For one, can I get a light on those eyes? Yeah. Can you see those eyeballs? Oh, freaky label. Amazing scent. I talked about this before. This smells like that plum wine and amber. Plum wine and amber? Plum wine and oud. I always forget the name. But this was like a Bath & Body Works fragrance that was like a rich, plummy wine. It came out years ago in the fall line. I remember it had a gold label, gold lid, white barn packaging, purple wax. It was beautiful. This smelled just like that. This burned its entire life in my bedroom because, again, just like the apple cider donut, I wanted to savor every drop of that scent. And my bedroom, when you extinguish a candle and leave the door shut, it just keeps that fragrance in there until the next time you light it. They really perform well in there, especially Kringles for me. And oh my Lanta, this is a fabulous one. So I love Sinister. If you like those rich, deep, dark, plummy, ambery wine type of fragrances, definitely check this one out when it's available again. Sinister rocked my world. It was fabulous. And then the last candle is Witching Hour. Oh, I did not like this, but luckily it wasn't super strong. Mm, it just smells like fire, like campfire. Like a real, like you're walking in the woods and you see witches doing spells with their book and their potions over the campfire. Wild. It was real smoky. It didn't have like any ounce of sweetness to like cut it. Like with the Bath and Body Works Fireside, like there's, like, a sweetness to it, even though it does have that, like, woodsiness to it. Uh-uh. I did not love this. I did burn the entire thing, though, in my dining room, and it was not strong at all. This was also from 2022, so I don't know if it was older as well, but either way, I'm kind of happy that I didn't smell it, because the scent that it was was a little rough. Listen, the Halloween candles are just not my favorite fragrance-wise, so I'm working on burning a lot of them. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more Halloween candles from like a couple years ago. I have Nevermore, Apparition, Pandora's Box, Coffin Rock, Sleepy Hollow, Cemetery Lane, Coven, and Seven Days to work through. Hopefully I can get them done this year. So next year, I don't have to think about them because let me tell you, there's some rough ones and I'm happy that it's windows open season right now so I can like flush some of the scent out because I want to enjoy the fragrances that I love, but I hate just letting them sit and, you know, build up over time my collection. And with Halloween being this time right now, it's Halloween month, it's October, I feel like it's the best time to burn them, even if I don't love them. If that makes any sense to you, it makes sense, I think, to me. Does it make sense to you? Yeah. So I'm hoping to do that. Now let's move on to, I really don't want to edit, <gasps> the wax melts. I'm just going to dive in here and see what I have. Oh. Okay, first thing I have is toasted apple butter from Scentsy. Now these guys were those old, those really random like recycled clamshells that they did for a hot minute. I did not love those. Um, and I feel like it definitely messed with the scent because this toasted apple butter was such a great scent. Again, a rich, cinnamony, sugary, decadent apple butter scent. But no joke, with these like clamshells, I think I got like a couple hours and then it was gone. So not super happy with that, but really working through my stash on those. Next, I have actually going in my living room, dining room, kitchen area right now, around the campfire. I do love this. Now this is a smoky scent 
with a little bit of sweetness to it that I enjoy. It has that rich marshmallowy, sort of like marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works, but the smoke factor is amped way up. And you know what? I actually really like that. I did frosted cinnamon roll. Now, let me tell you, compared to the Bath and, or the Candles by Victoria frosted cinnamon roll, this has nothing on it. This is like a really watered down cinnamon fragrance. It's not a favorite. I would not repurchase it. I just have a bunch of them from the scent and warmer of the month kit that I did when I was a consultant. Well, I still am a consultant, but whenever I, I got them, I'm just trying to find the matches. Here we go. Cider Mill. I do like Cider Mill. I finished two of these. Some people say this is a dupe for Bath & Body Works Apple Pumpkin. Not at all. This smells nothing like Bath & Body Works Apple Pumpkin. Apple Pumpkin, or Pumpkin Apple, sorry, Pumpkin Apple from Bath & Body Works is much more of a deep, rich, like a roasted apple with the sweet pumpkin. This is like apple cider and pumpkin spice. So two totally different fragrances. It's definitely not a dupe, but I like it. Next, we have matchy match match. I'm trying to find the matches. Oh, oh, perfect pumpkin pear. I hate this scent. This smells like baby vomit. Oh, it's terrible. I did it in my bedroom because it's been a couple years, and I thought maybe it would mellow out. It definitely didn't. Fall into love. Listen, I fall into love every time I smell this fragrance. It is in my club. I have a ton of backups. It did not come back this year, but I love it. It's sweet, has a little bit of eucalyptus and apple. It's fresh, it's clean, and it goes for days and days and days and days and days in my bedroom. I can turn on the warmers for a couple hours, turn them off. The next day, turn them back on. I still get scent from it. I absolutely love it. Next, two clams of apple press. I think I like this one. Yeah, it's a fresh, crisp apple. Not super crazy different. There's so many apple fragrances from Scentsy. It doesn't really, like, stand out as a unique one. Just a really crisp, fresh apple. Oh, here we go. I knew I had a match. Coconut pumpkin pie. I did this the other day. It was, like, 70 degrees randomly, but I was still in the mood for fall. And I have been doing so well, knock on wood, that I haven't purchased any Scentsy this season. No fall, no Christmas. I am really trying to work through my stash. I have a ton of bricks. I have a ton of bars that are getting sweaty. I mean, I have over 500 bars. I need to cool it and I need to start melting my stash. And honestly, it feels so good to melt your wax and at the end of the month not be like, okay, I melted 30 bars, but I brought in 60. Like what? That's crazy. Like it feels good to just be like, oh, I melted 20. Oh, I melted 15. Oh, I melted 35. And you're not keeping on, oh, I melted them and then I brought more in. Like, I'm not bringing any more in. It feels great. I have some orders for friends coming with some new fragrances. I'm smelling them. I'm like, it's good. I have something in my stash similar. You know what I mean? I'm trying to work in that mentality, especially with my Scentsy Wax, because I feel like I don't reach for it as much as I like to burn a candle. These are more like complementary to my candles. So in order to melt through a lot of them, I don't purchase a ton and I don't have, you know, they don't build up. So it feels really, really great. But anyway, off that soapbox, coconut pumpkin pie. It gives buttered popcorn, but it does have a sweet coconut, almost like a coconut cream or a coconut milk mixed in with a pumpkin pie filling. I like it. I do. I really like it. I would not repurchase it. It didn't last super, super long. Wait, what? Oh, I'm literally looking at the same one. Everything nice. I thought I really liked this one. This is like a fresh picked pumpkin pie with cinnamon, sugar, and spice. It's that fleshy pumpkin, the fleshy pumpkin that's in like pumpkin marshmallow and stuff like that. I like this one. I prefer pumpkin marshmallow though. If I'm gonna have like a fresh picked pumpkin fragrance, I like like the fleshy meatiness of the pumpkin mixed with the marshmallow versus mixed with the spices. Just a personal preference. I don't even remember melting king cake, but I guess I did. This is like a sweet, like bakery, buttery pound cake type of smell. It's a good mixer. 
I don't remember what I mixed it with, but apparently I did. Uh, Disney Villains, Just One Bite. This is another apple cinnamon fragrance. I enjoy it. Don't need to repurchase it. I feel like I have more. Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. This was the scent of the month. It has like pineapple in the background. Super strange and super funky. It's still when they did scent of the month stickers on the wax. I just don't like that one that much. Porch Pumpkin. This was a nice fresh picked, like sweet, meaty pumpkin. I did really enjoy that one. Looney Tunes. I did this one in my bathroom a couple times. This is like a citrusy, fresh vibe. Finished that one. I did a couple scent shots from Candles by Victoria this month. I did Pumpkin Cupcake. It smells just like the Bath and Body Works one. Trying to balance. Absolutely love. Butter Pecan Waffle. This is great. This is a sweet, rich, buttery maple fragrance. Absolutely love that one. Maple Butter Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Crunch. This is nice. It's like pumpkin pecan waffles just with a little bit of added sweetness and sugariness. And then I did pumpkin crunch cake, another great pumpkin bakery. I have a hot plate warmer in my kitchen. I'll pop one of these in the morning, let it go all day, and give me a lot of great scent. And then last but not least, as far as fragrance for the home goes, I did some wallflowers. I have football season from Bath & Body Works. This is... Cozy up on the bleachers with a warm flannel and notes of freshly fallen leaves and autumn air. Sweet, fresh. It was nice. Frozen Lake, I did in my bathroom. I love that one. It's just crisp and fresh. Honey Crisp Apple, not much to say. Fresh Apple. Pumpkin Bonfire, absolutely love Pumpkin Bonfire. It's a sweet, decadent, decadent. It's not decadent. It's a roasty pumpkin fire type of smell. I absolutely love that one. All right, really quickly, while I still have you here, let's talk about like home things. I finished a fragrance detergent and booster in flannel. I love flannel from Bath & Body Works. It is one of my favorite fragrances from them. Love the hand soap, like the body care when they do it, but this detergent is really nice. To be honest, I feel like the detergent is not super necessary. If you're just going to want to add scent to your clothes, add the boosters. Now, they recently changed the caps for the boosters. You'll notice it with flannel. They're open now, which is so much nicer than that spout where the beads would get, like, caught in there. I don't even use the cap for measuring. I just dump in my laundry as it goes. I feel like I go through it pretty quickly, but I do love the scent, especially flannel. This is great. Does it have the notes on here? Oh, yeah. Heirloom mahogany, bergamot, and soft musk. I wash, like, my blankets, my sheets. I don't do any of my clothes in it. I have the Beekman laundry detergent for that, which I adore. But I do really like the, deter the boosters. I do say you should use it in warm water. It does say works in cold water, but I find that when I add these to cold water loads the beads get stuck to the fabric. So I like to run a warm cycle, and I like to add the beads with the water before the clothes to let it break down. Personal preference, you do you, but that is what I like to do. I finished a pumpkin apple gel hand soap and a perfect autumn gel hand soap. I really like the gel soaps over the foam. I'm really working through my stash. I only have a few Bath & Body Works hand soaps left. Feels really good to work through the stash and work on finishing them up. I keep one in my kitchen, one in my bathroom, and I do have one in my laundry room and the sink there. I don't use that sink that often, so it doesn't really change that often, but it's nice to just have it there for an option. But I finished those. I finished a Wen uh, hairspray. I love Wen products for my hair. It's what I use exclusively on my hair is all Wen by Chaz Dean products. So I finished the hairspray. Love his hairspray. I finished from Notorium, the Energizer Mandelic Acid Body Wash. This was really nice. It helps neutralize body odor. It has like a cooling effect with mandelic and menthol lactate in there, where it just left a really cooling effect, especially those hot, hot days towards the end of summer. A nice shower with this was really refreshing and revitalizing afterwards. Really liked that. I finished a hand and body wash from Beekman 1802 in honey grapefruit. Love the honey grapefruit. 
guaranteed to make you make you 66% less grumpy in the morning. It's a citrusy, fresh fragrance. I love all Beekman body care. Love the goat milk formula. And I finished a body cream and brown sugar pumpkin. Good to the last drop. Oh, this smells like warm pumpkin pie. Like the pumpkin pie just came out of the oven and you put homemade whipped cream and served it. And the whipped cream is just dripping down the pie. It's heavenly. Now, I cannot believe I did all of those empties in 30 minutes. I felt like I was on a fast forward, but it felt so good. I feel a coughing fit coming and I definitely need a sip of water. Let me know what you guys finished in the month of October. Let me know what you're loving. Are you loving the fall weather? It feels so good and so much needed. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. And most importantly, be kind and vote. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.